Today is September 29th, the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels. This is the day that the Church sets aside to give God thanks and glory for His faithful ministering spirits, the Holy Angels. The word itself simply means messengers, but it is clear from Scripture that the angels fulfill many roles in God's ordering of creation and in His plan of salvation. The Scriptures also suggest a hierarchy within their ranks. Some are cherubim, some seraphim, some are called archangel, and some simply angel. As to their nature, however, the Bible is quite reticent. Angels appear in various ways to humans, often in human form, often in dazzling apparel, and always in such a way as to create awe and terror in their human contacts. Over the centuries, elements of Christian art initially meant to be symbolic, such as wings representing swiftness and halos representing holiness, have come to be almost too closely associated with angels. This has led many to dismiss them as mythical creatures. The Christian, however, cannot doubt the reality of angels and their ministry, or that they are active still in our lives. The Bible is clear that the faithful are surrounded by them for their protection, and that we often encounter them unawares. The canonical scriptures name two specific angels, Gabriel, the messenger, and Michael, the great prince. It seems that Michael is given charge over protecting God's people from the evil intentions of the enemy. For centuries, Christians have gained peace in the knowledge that Michael and his armies of angels defend them in spiritual battle. This feast day is traditionally called Michaelmas in his honor. Let us pray. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted in a wonderful order the ministry of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant that, as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may help and defend us here on earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.